everybody welcome back thanks for clicking on this video uh, my name is Kim and I'm really glad you're here so many people get confused between the backslash and the forward slash that I thought I'd do a short little video about it um, what's the difference anyway well I'm gonna tell you so which one is which so basically the backsplash slants backwards so it's slanting to the back the forward slash, or commonly called the slash, slants forward. So see, this one's slanting backwards, this one's slanting forward. Simple as that. Um, here's some stuff, of information about the backslash. So the backslash is really only used in Windows. It's used when you type in a path to an area on your hard drive. For example, C colon backslash windows backslash temp. So this is the temp folder inside of the windows folder. That is using the backslash. So the backslash, um, not to get too much into why windows uses the backslash, but in case you care, here's a quick little explanation. Originally Unix used the forward slash as a directory separator. So like it would say this directory forward slash another directory. DOS 1.0 did not support directories and for whatever reason um, they used, IBM used forward slash as a switch character which is still used today when, the com with, uh, when using the command prompt. I'll show you an example but anyway once DOS 2.0 came out, it introduced support for directories, and IBM wanted to keep the forward slash and couldn't just change what the forward slash did, so they chose backslash because it was the most similar looking character. So since they already had the forward slash being used for the switches, um, they couldn't just all of a sudden now make it for directories, so they decided to use the backslash. So that's basically how this all happened. So here's an example of, the com of a command in uh, the command prompt. So C colon, they've got a backslash. So this is telling you that it's in the C, this directory. And then IP config space forward slash all. So this forward slash is a switch turning on all. So that's what um, Windows uses these in that way. Um, so if you type this in in your command prompt it will show all the IP configuration for the computer for the, you know because you're using the C drive. So C is the directory and all is the switch. So that's why it's using the backslash and a forward slash. Anyways Everything else uses the forward slash. Why? Well, everything else seems to follow the Unix forward slash convention. Websites use forward slash. Other operating systems use forward slash. It's really just Windows that uses the backslash. Does it really matter? Well, it doesn't matter most of the time, but when it really does matter, it really matters. So. It doesn't always matter, but enough that I wanted to talk about it. Um, Windows directories require you to use the backslash. If you typed in C colon forward slash Windows forward slash temp or whatever, it's just going to say it doesn't exist because to Windows, the forward slash does not mean what it means and everything else. So. You really use, in Windows, just use the backslash. Um, the internet will actually accept both and will correct it for you, usually. Um, so if you use the wrong one, that's not, it doesn't really matter. Many programs will also correct it for you if you use the wrong one. So in those programs, it doesn't really matter. But remote desktop will not work with the wrong one. If you are entering a domo domain name and a username, a backslash must be used. So you'd have domain name, backslash, username. 
if you did domain name forward slash username, it'll say, oh, that user doesn't exist, or it'll fail, it won't work. Because Windows doesn't want you to use the forward slash, it wants you to use backslash. In Windows, the forward slash is used for switches. Anyways, use the forward slash for everything, except if you need to specify a location or a specific user in Windows, then use the backslash. So the forward slash slants to the right, backslash slants to the left. Which one is which? This is important, so I'm going to repeat it. The backslash slants backwards. The forward slash, commonly called the slash, slants forwards. So on your keyboard, typically the backslash is above the enter key, and the forward slash is right next to the right shift key. So it's simple. It really is simple, but so many people get confused. In Windows, use the backslash on the internet and everywhere else, use the forward slash and you should be good. So anyways, I hope you learned something. This was very short, but I just really wanted to talk about this because it is such a common error that people make. Anyways, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.